Hello and welcome to another episode of a series of tutorials explaining the inner workings of the LeaseWeb private cloud based on CloudStack product. Uh, my name is Rogier Boutkan. I am the product owner uh, for all things cloud within LeaseWeb, which means that I uh, get to uh, tell or help the developers build new features uh, based on requirements from customers, internal or external. Uh, today we are going to have a look at how to create a template from an instance. Uh, luckily in a previous episode of these tutorials I created an instance so I will use that as the base of our uh, well this tutorial. Uh, so let's get right to it. As you can see uh, we already created an instance and it's here. It's in stop state which is perfect because in order to create a template from an instance uh, the machine needs to be in stopped state. Uh, this is for the reliability of the, the template uh, creation process. Uh, so, if we zoom in on this test machine, we will see that uh, there's a lot of options, of course, but uh, specifically we're interested in the root volume of this instance. Uh, down here you can see all volumes related to this specific instance. Uh, so if I click this, uh, I will see that there's only one volume uh, associated with this machine at this point of time. Uh, it also tells me that it is a root volume, uh, which means that it is the bootable uh, flag volume for this particular instance. Uh, now if I were to have other uh, volumes attached, like data volumes, uh, these would show up here as well. Uh, but because we are talking about creation of a template, I'm only interested in the root volume for this particular machine. Uh, a general use case for this uh, this action uh, is, uh, for example, I created this newly in uh, this new instance and I tweaked it exactly uh, to my needs. Uh, for example, I uh, I have installed Nginx or Apache because I need this machine to be a web server. Uh, I configured the appropriate websites uh, on the machine, uh, and now I just need multiple uh, variants or clones of this machine uh, to be available. Well. In order to achieve that, I, uh, I will pause this machine, create a template from it, uh, and that template can be reused to create multiple uh, machines based uh, on the template, which are identical in behavior and configuration. Uh, so, let's drill down to this particular volume. And as you can see, there's a, a, a series of options which are made available to me. Uh, I could take a snapshot of this particular volume for backup purposes. Uh, I could download it off-site to another location, also backup pur purposes. Or uh, the one we are interested in right now, I can create a template from this root volume. And this is exactly what we're going to do. So let's select that option. A dialog opens. Well, that's great. Uh, let me see what I can do here. Uh, I can give this template a name. Well, well, let's call it web server because that's kind of appropriate. Uh, web server uh, Apache, because that's what I installed and configured on this particular machine. Uh, the next option or selection I have to make is a very important one. It is uh, the OS type. Uh, each template has an OS type associated with it. Uh, this OS type tells the uh, hypervisor or the virtualization engine, if you like, uh, in our case KVM, how to interact with this particular machine or volume. Uh, if I were to select a, uh, a, well, a wrong uh, OS type, performance would suffer or uh, in worst case uh, the machine wouldn't boot. Uh, so this is actually an Ubuntu 1404 machine and that's a great example because as I will show you there is no such thing in this list as Ubuntu 1404. So what do I do now? Well if the particular operating system which is installed is not present, uh, the default selection is Other PV. Other PV stands for Other Para Virtualized, uh, which tells KVM to deal with this particular instance uh, in its uh, well in the Other Para Virtualized way, uh, which will maximize performance for this specific machine. Uh, it's a 64-bit one, so I select that. There's two other options in the dialog, uh, one of them being public. Uh, public means that this particular template which I am creating is made available for everybody within my private cloud. 
uh, I want that because uh, I create this template for all other users. I could have multiple users have access to this environment and I want them all to be able to use this template to create new machines. So I tick the box. Uh, another option is uh, uh, to password enable this particular template. Uh, there is a function within CloudStack that allows me to reset a password of a particular instance. But in order for that to work, uh, a script needs to be installed on the specific machine. If I were to tick this box, which I'm going to do because I inserted the script, uh, the function uh, will be made available through the user interface for me to use to reset the password. However, if I did not install the script but tick the tick box, the option would appear but it wouldn't work. Luckily, I uh, installed the script uh, and I want the function to be available, so I tick the tick box and everything should be fine. Well, uh, it looks like I did everything that is necessary to create a template, so let's just do that. In the back, uh, uh, CloudStack will start creating a copy of this particular uh, root volume uh, and label it as template to be reused. So this will take a short while. And it is done. Now this template is made available for everybody within the domain. And just to check that, let's zoom in on templates. I get to see a complete list of all templates, but I can also filter mine. And here we have my newly created template. Yes. As you can see, all the properties are set according to my wishes. It's password enabled, it's public. Uh, and this template can be used to create new instances. So, just to drive the point home. Instances, I will create a new one. I want to create from a template. I want to create from my templates. And there it is. By selecting this specific template, I can proceed to create a new instance based on a copy of the one I, uh, I created and configured. This concludes uh, the tutorial for how to create a template from, a, from an instance. I uh, hope you enjoyed and uh, found this tutorial useful and hope to see you next time for another episode in this saga.